An octopus is called an octopus because it has eight tentacles. But what if it only had six tentacles? Would it be a six-tentacled octopus? What if a goat had eight legs and genitals of both sexes? Or a three-headed frog? In today's video, I'll be looking at some amazing animals with mutations. Henry the octopus at the UK's Blackpool Sea Life Aquarium has only six tentacles. He was caught off the coast of Wales and transferred to a local zoo, where he and seven other octopuses were chosen to be relocated to the Blackpool Sea Life Aquarium. His mutation was only discovered when he became attached to the aquarium glass. Octopuses can regrow their tentacles if they lose one for any reason. But Henry didn't have any space between his tentacles, so it was clear that he hadn't torn them off. Blackpool Sea Life staff looked online and spoke to other major aquariums, but they couldn't find any record of an octopus with six tentacles. This made Henry the first officially recorded octopus with six tentacles. He isn't part of a new species, but he's the result of a mutation. Zoran Paparic, a farmer from Kutjeva, Croatia, saw one of the baby goats that his goat Sarka had brought in and decided to call a neighbor to confirm that he wasn't going crazy. The baby goat had eight legs and both male and female genitals. Local veterinarians believe the baby goat, named Octogoat, had absorbed its undeveloped twin while still in the womb. The Octogoat was born with two other goat kids who were perfectly normal. His mother, who had been with Zoran for four years, also gave birth to normal triplets on four other occasions. Even with his eight paws, the octagoat could not stand up and could not walk, proving that eight paws were not always better than four. It was thought that the octagoat wouldn't make it past the first week, and even if it did, it was unlikely to live more than two or three years. Zoran said he'd take the octagoat as a pet if it survived. We don't know what happened to the goat. Faith was born with a brain defect that prevented her front legs from fully developing. She couldn't walk and was rejected by her stray dog mother who tried to kill her. She was found by 17-year-old Reuben Stringfellow. Reuben took the dog to his mother. Her two front paws later became weak and had to be amputated. Faith, who only had two hind paws left, was taught to stand, walk, jump, and run. Today, she walks on her hind legs like a human. She's met several celebrities and even appeared on The Oprah Show. She's visited several military bases and hospitals, where she served as a sort of encouragement to wounded soldiers and veterans. She even became an honorary sergeant in the U.S. Army and was considered for a role in the fourth Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Western rat snakes are usually completely black, except for the chin, which is colored white. However, one Western rat snake named Wee is not black. It is albino. He also has two heads and genitalia of both sexes. Wee was purchased by the World Aquarium in St. Louis from his owner for $15,000 when he was still only a few weeks old in 1999. Over the years, Wee had more than a million visitors before he died at the age of eight. This snake often tried to move in two different directions at the same time. The World Aquarium also tried to mate him with another two-headed snake, but the attempt was unsuccessful. The snake gained international fame when the World Aquarium tried to auction him off for $150,000. The auction didn't go through, but the snake found a home with Nutra Pharma, a biotech company that makes drugs for AIDS and MS. In the wild, two-headed snakes usually don't live very long. The heads tend to fight each other for food, and in some cases, they've even tried to eat each other. Only one two-headed snake in the world has lived to be 20 years old. While mutant toads are not rare, a toad with three heads is still incredibly rare. A mutant toad with three heads and six legs was found in the garden of Green Umbrella Nursery in the UK in 2004. The toad was found by a pupil who had just been left at the nursery on Thursday morning. The students in the nursery initially thought it was three toads huddled heavily together, but were surprised when it turned out to be one toad. School staff caught the toad and placed it in an aquarium. On Friday morning, it was discovered that the toad had escaped. Froggy's eyes and paws appeared to be functioning normally but it is unknown if her three mouths were fully functional. A biology professor at Open University said that although mutant toads have been found for about 200 years, one toad with three heads and six legs is completely unheard of. Mutation can be caused by parasites, pollution, or genetic mutation. Some people believe the mutation is a consequence of the decommissioned Hinkley Nuclear Power Station, which is only 19 kilometers from the Green Umbrella Nursery. It was once thought that squittens were the result of a cross between a squirrel and a cat. This is because they have short front legs and tend to stand on their hind legs like squirrels. In fact, they are cats that are affected by a mutation called radial hypoplasia, or RH, which prevents their front paws from fully developing. 
In milder cases of radial hypoplasia, cats can adapt to using their front legs to hop like rabbits. In moderate cases, they hunt using their hind legs and may even use their tail for balance like kangaroos. In severe cases of the disease, they move solely on their hind legs and look like squirrels when upright. They are also sometimes called dinosaur cats or kangaroo cats. Squittens have trouble climbing, especially when descending from trees. They also have trouble getting down stairs, and some even go down backwards. One squitten named Kanga was born along with three other normal kittens. She also has megasophagus, which causes her to have to eat special food standing upright because she has trouble swallowing. Another example is Petal, who lives with her owner in New Yorkshire, England, along with another squitten named Honey. There's a pig named Rudy with two heads, two snouts, two ears, and three eyes. The middle eye, located where the two heads meet, is blind. Rudy was purchased from her owner for $5,000 by an animal rescue group called Pigs Without Partners, which named the pig Ditto. Only one of Ditto's nickels worked properly, so she had to wear a small helmet in case she fell. Ditto had mobility issues throughout her life. She used a special wheelchair to get around. She just started learning to use her front legs in 1998, just two months after she came to Pigs Without Partners. Before she died, she became unsteady in her movements and kept lurching to the left. Her muzzle was preserved to help study deformities in children. A pig with the same disorder was born in Zhujiang Municipality, China in 2003. Kenny was a white tiger who was rescued along with his brother Willie, a normal orange-colored tiger by Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge in Arkansas in 2000, Kenny was mentally handicapped and had a deformed muzzle that made him unable to close his mouth properly. Willie, on the other hand, was squint-eyed. Kenny and Willie's parents were brother and sister, who were forced to mate by a breeder who hoped to get a white tiger. The breeder later gave up the two brothers after he had difficulty selling them due to their defects. White tigers don't exist in the wild. The only way to produce them is to cross closely related tigers from generation to generation until the right mutation occurs. Most are born with health problems and physical deformities. The gene that makes their fur white also causes a problem where the optic nerve attaches to the wrong side of the brain. This makes all white tigers squint. They also have wolf's mouth, club foot, immunodeficiency, and back and organ deformities. Most white tigers are born dead, and those that survive usually die early. Kenny died of cancer in 2008. Polydactyly is a condition in which an animal has more than the normal number of toes. It's most commonly seen in cats, which typically have five toes on each of their front paws and four toes on their hind paws. However, multi-toed cats have many more toes. Jake, a striped cat from Canada, is recognized as the cat with the most fingers. He has as many as 28 toes, seven toes on each paw. Polydactyly, which means many toes, is more common in cats in England, Wales, the eastern United States, and Canada than in any other part of the world. These cats were popularized by the famous writer Ernest Hemingway, and they're sometimes called Hemingway cats. They're also sometimes called horseshoe paws or pancake feet because the excessive number of toes makes their paws look large. 30 of the 60 cats currently living at the Hemingway estate are multi-toed. U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt also had a cat like that, called slippers. Unlike most other mutations, polydactyly is considered an advantage for cats. People love the way polydactyl cats look, and polydactyl cats often use their extra fingers to open windows and deadbolt locks. Franken Louie is the name of a cat with one head, two faces, and three eyes. Their mutation is called diprosopia, which is a very rare mutation in which an animal or human has two faces on one head. Cats with this mutation are also called Janus cats, in honor of Janus, the ancient Roman god of doors, entrances, exits, and various passageways, who is depicted with two faces. Although diprosopia is pretty common in cats, most don't make it past a few days. Frank and Louie are the longest living Janus cats on record, having reached 12 years old on September 8, 2011. Their owner is Marty Stevens, a veterinary paramedic who took them in when their owner brought them to the vet to be put to sleep. The cats share a brain and a middle eye, which is also their largest eye and isn't functioning. They eat using Frank's muzzle. And because Louie's muzzle has no lower jaw, his muzzle isn't attached to their esophagus. Nature is incredible, and sometimes it's downright cruel. Today we've looked at some pretty amazing mutations in animals. Thanks for watching the video all the way through. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video.